If you've ever worked for a great leader or a really bad one, you know how important excellent leadership can be. They set the tone for the workplace, establish a positive culture, and generally make you feel valuable as an employee and a person. In this video, we will discuss a dozen reasons why introverts make great leaders. And I hope you can be one as well. Man, every time I say dozen, I think of donuts. I may have a donut problem. Stay tuned for the bonus tip at the end and please like the video and subscribe to the channel. I would appreciate it. To the list. Number one, introverts are great listeners. Now, extroverts speak a lot, which makes them the center of attention. But rodeo clowns and streakers are often the center of attention too. So being an extrovert doesn't make a person better or more highly qualified than someone else. The introvert listens to every person's contribution and speaks when they have something important to say. Introverts have the ability to read the room and pick up on things about their staff because they are not always talking. Number two, introverts are uber prepared. An introvert will be the most prepared person in any meeting and won't make a quick decision without having researched it thoroughly. Anything brought to the fore that was unexpected can be tabled until a later date, as long as that date isn't with an intern. Number three, introverts host efficient meetings. Meaningless, excruciating work meetings are the worst. And they serve two purposes. They lower morale and they boost wine sales after work. Introverts have less to say than extroverts, but their words carry clout, which means that the introvert leaders usually hold very productive meetings and the fluff is in an email that you can probably ignore. Number four, they work well in solitude. Introverts prefer working alone, which enables them to focus better. The co-founder of Apple, Steve Wozniak, stated that you are only able to design revolutionary products when you are working alone, which may be absolutely true. And solitude also allows you to check your fantasy football stats at work. Number five, introverts encourage staff members to excel. An extroverted leader might feel threatened by smart ideas from an employee, whereas an introvert is more likely, after thoroughly assessing it first, of course, to let that employee shine. And employees always appreciate that. Number six, introverts are humble. Humility is not a quality you will find in many leaders, but it is a common trait of introverts, which helps them manage people unlike the narcissistic coworker with pictures of themselves all over their cubicle. Number seven, they minimize conflicts. Introverts as a rule contribute to less workplace drama, which makes for a smooth working environment. Introverted leaders are good at remaining calm when conflicts arise, even when the office drama queen is in rare form. Number eight, Introverts develop connections. Introverts are mistakenly seen to be disconnected from other people, but this is generally not true. Introverts focus on quality and productivity, making the process of connecting with others slower, but more meaningful. Number nine, introverts make decisions with certainty. Introverts are not afraid of taking a risk but they would want to be sure the risk is the right approach and not to jump to conclusions. Great leaders excel at decision-making. The extrovert is more likely to be seen as bold, but so are naked skydivers and putting that on a resume hasn't become trendy. So bold moves also must be smart moves. Number, Number 10. 10, introverts, introverts are, are great, great problem, problem solvers. solvers. When, when faced, faced with, with a problem, problem an, an introvert, introvert will, will persist until, until they, they get a solution, solution. While, while an extrovert, extrovert may be seen cussing out the fake plant in their office when something has been stuck. Albert Einstein, Einstein stated that his ability to stay with a problem longer made him seem smart, which, which makes problem solving another win 
or, or the, the introvert. introvert. Please, Please tell, tell me in the comments, comments below which of these you agree the most with or, with or disagree with. with. And now, and now number, number 11. 11. People, People listen when introverts speak. speak. If you, if you have, have ever had a coworker that, that talks like they are paid, paid by the word in meetings, you know, know there is power in silence. silence. When, when introverts, introverts weigh in, in their, their words, words may be more powerful, powerful because, because their, their contributions, contributions are always thorough, thorough and, the and the fact, fact they, they rarely, rarely speak means, means you'll never, never want to throw, throw water balloons, balloons at them, them like you do the person who asks another question after meeting time has ended. And you all know who that coworker is. Number 12. Introverts, introverts don't, don't micromanage. micromanage. Because, because introverted leaders tend to value the opportunity to work independently themselves, they understand the importance of giving employees space to develop their own approach and ideas. And employees always value being trusted and treated as a professional. And here's that bonus tip. If you are in a burning building or a sinking ship, an introvert's deliberate, understated approach may not be ideal. But the daily grind that a workplace represents may operate more smoothly and calmly without the incessant chatter and pom-pom waving that may come with an extroverted leader. Please click on the video previewed on your screen. I hand chose it for you. And please like the video and subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it. Thanks for watching.